Well, researchers from all over the world have been rushing to find a vaccine and it looks as if Pfizer has actually won the race. But it's just one vaccine and there will be others that do a different job. Professor Jonathan Heaney from Cambridge University is working on one of those. We're at the uh, phase one um, clinical trial preparations. That's the early safety uh, phase. The Pfizer BioNTech is at phase three. Uh, they're in the middle of their, their phase three program. They've had interim analysis because of a number of infections. And when they, um, if you like, decoded who received what, whether it was placebo or the vaccine, they reported an approximate 90% uh, efficacy level at this early time point. And, and as far as you're concerned, uh, how are things going with yours? Uh, well, we're working with DNA uh, rather than RNA. So DNA is a, a more stable product. It takes longer to produce. Um, that's the downside. The upside is that it doesn't need a cold chain. So because it's stable, you can keep it at, at room temperature. And our vaccines are able to be shipped around the world uh, without the logistic problems of, of minus 80. And furthermore, they can be administered um, without a needle uh, directly through the skin. So, so from where you are now to where Pfizer is now, how long will that take, do you think? That'll take um, uh, at least six to nine months. And the reason for the difference is our approach is, is not to make um, a vaccine particularly for this current outbreak but we're making a vaccine that will protect um, from these viruses and the families that could spill over and occur in five, six, seven, eight years. So we're making a, a pan beta corona vaccine that can protect against future pandemics to make sure what has happened to us in the last uh, nine months really uh, won't happen to us again. So, so presumably that means that if the Pfizer one is approved in this country, that will get us through another year, and then yours would get us through for a long time. That's, that's the target that we're aiming for, exactly, Stuart. There have been questions from people who say this has happened so quickly, I'm not sure that it's safe. What would you say to those people? Rest assured that, um, at least in, in Western countries, where there's really good regulatory practices, there won't be a vaccine that is launched until there is uh, good safety data. And that's why um, it is gonna, and why it has taken so much time until now. Professor, it's fascinating to talk to you. Thank you so much for being with us. It's a pleasure, thank you, Stuart.